Now, working on the Camaro again today. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut all this rubber stuff out. I mean, it's everywhere. But, it's kind of molded around all the wiring, so I'm taking these tenor snips. And I'm cutting it. So the wire can still stay in place. And I'll just cut it all out. You know, I have to be careful down here because there's wires and stuff. And then there's these tabs holding it down. I already popped this one out. And we're right there. But yeah, I'm going to cut all this out. Now I'm going to fix the wiring. And then I'm going to put the delete plate in. And then I'm going to put the. Uh, the dash back in all right took all the rubber insulation out and that was a job I wound up switching to a um, utility knife that seemed to work better I don't know what I did with it oh here it is I switched to that I was using this dollar store but it broke at the top that worked good for a while until it broke. And when it broke, I had to go to the store and get some blades. It's Memorial Day. I'm surprised Ace was open, but they were. So, which is great because I needed some bolts for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in next. Now I put the bead on the body side. A lot of people put it on the plate side, but I put it on the body side. I'm going to carefully put that up there, line up a bolt. Tighten it up. All right, I put those two bolts at the bottom. Nothing's touching yet. I'm gonna stick this third long one. These are long bolts that go across the bottom. Those three big ones. They come from the inside. But yeah, now I'm gonna stick this one in that hole and it should bring it up and it should line everything up for me. All right, the big bolts are in. And uh, some of the blue stuff did uh, Squeeze out on me, but that's fine. You ain't gonna be able to see it on this side, but on the outside, we'll uh, squeeze that on the outside too. We'll just hit it with a coat of paint, be fine. But, I mean, there's way more room in the engine bay now, but now I gotta put the bolts from the outside through. Might have to get some help with that. Someone's gonna have to hold one side while I tighten the other. And this is everything that goes that does not go back in the car. And this thing right here, that's pretty heavy. This airbag, it's pretty heavy. And all that stuff there is pretty heavy. I'm told all that rubber is 50 pounds, and I believe it. Um, I'm told that's 20 pounds. And uh, I don't know how much that weighs. I'd say it's about 15 pounds. 85 Eh, probably about 85 pounds, 80, 85 pounds. That right there, it don't weigh nothing. You can pick that up with a, a blade of grass. Yeah, maybe, it might be one pound. But um, check out how much room's in the engine bay. Tons more room in the engine bay, tons. That's gonna make a big difference, yeah. Race car. <laughs> All right, I got my girlfriend and son-in-law to help me, and we got the, the bolts in. And I took five bolts out, and I had to put six bolts in. I'm not sure what that's about. But yeah, I only took five out of this side, and I put six back, six back in. But anyway, it's in. And we'll just come back when that dries, and we'll toss a coat of paint on it. And, um... I think these were one inch bolts I got and they're too long so I'd probably go with a half inch but it don't matter nobody's gonna see that I put I got I had I had a little short one I only bought five so I had to dig that out of my nut and bolt pile not that one wasn't very long at all it barely fit in there but that's perfect though because you might be able to see that if you look under the car real good 
All right, so I'm gonna, this goes to the door. Maybe it's the power locks or something. But, um, which I don't have a key fob anyway. I don't even know if these cards use that. I don't know. But I'm gonna hook it back up because apparently it did break from here. Somebody had already spliced that wire before. And somebody had something on this. A remote starter or something I don't know what they've had but they've got these little splice things in here and these are a bad idea just FYI because I've had problems with these causing shorts in the car but they've left the wires on here on some of them I'm gonna cut those off and I need to figure out where I'm gonna put that because with that one piece out that don't with that one inner vent piece out that went on the back of the dash that we had that I had to take off to get to this wire loom. It, it holds the bracket for that, so maybe I'll just cut the bracket part off and put it back on. But yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is fix this wire, cut these other wires off, and then the, where I cut the heater wires, I'm assuming those went to the heater box. So I don't know what they did, but I don't know if they're hot or what. So I'm gonna put a sleeve over those. One of those sleeves you melt on. And this one right here, it went in. It went into that rubber piece. So there was like a little hole in the rubber piece that that went in. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. could probably just hang it up here somewhere. I don't know. Figure something out. But yeah, once we get the wiring figured out, I can scoot all this back and then we can set the dash back in here and start plugging wires back up all right i set the dash back in the car and manhandling that by myself it's a little difficult I ain't gonna lie it's just awkward it is kind of heavy all right so hooked up to the, these two relays and there's another wire down there and that gray tape it snakes up in there and goes to the glove box slot. I'm gonna push that in a little bit. And then that wire on top of the body control module, that went to the, uh, to the blower motor, so we're not using that. So I clipped these in across here. I might have to tape that one back up. It pulled off the tape. And then I hooked up that relay I hooked up the push button for the trunk. I ran this wire up to the top because that goes to the dash. That's that little blinking red light. And then I hooked that up to the bat the radio. I hooked the antenna back up to the radio. And then the two plug-ins and the two lights for the heater. And uh, then there's this relay that slides right back into that bracket. And that's it for this side. And then um, we'll go ahead and go over to the other side. That harness is going to have to be clipped in over there, but I have to lift up on it. And then this harness clips in right here. Still got to do that, but let's go to the other side and plug those in. All right, I put those clips in across the top. Unfortunately, this one broke on me. It's hard to it's hard to get those out, man, without breaking them. The other two are holding that. And then. Put that big blue plug in side there. It goes on the side right there. And then this right here, your fog lights, headlights, and dimmer switch. Go ahead and hook those up. And those are the cables that go there. Then you gotta snake that. Actually, I'm gonna have to disconnect that because this wire is coming around this way. I'm going to stick the wires back through there and pull them out here. One moment. All right, I took these two bolts out that hold this part on. This part don't come all the way on because off because the radio has a hold of it. And uh, I carefully snaked it in there. There's two prongs at the bottom. It slides down and into slides down and into those, and then there's clips at the top. So now we can take our fuse box and bring it up here and put the bolt in it 
right there. All right, so there's a few different things to to hook up under the car. Not really hook up, but there's brackets that need bolted up. There's this big gray box. It slides on this bracket up inside here, and this one just clips on the side. And there's another one over here that clips on the side, and then we got to put the OBD2 port in. But I'm going to put the dash up in there first. I think it'll be easier once we get the dash up in there to then get up in there and, and get that stuff. All right, I put the dash up in there on the bottom two bolts. So it's just sitting on the bottom two bolts. Now I'm going to try to rotate it up and put some screws in it at the top. Now, make sure these little things, they slide around on you. Make sure they're all lined up that metal piece inside there it slides around and the clip would slide off i've straightened them all up they were all crooked also putting the dash in put the, put the gear shifter way back here it makes it a lot easier all right let's try to put this thing in all right that one relay slid on over there i can't get the camera in there there's a bracket inside it two brackets like back in the groove of them and that uh relay slides on and then there's a canister see it the red plug it just clips on with that clip and there's another one over here that does that and then we got to put our obd port back in and uh this big harness i put it up there and started the bolts but i ain't tightened them up yet and then i just put the steering wheel bolts back in now remember your two corner bolts, there's two big ground wires that go to those on each side. Now this side right here, I know works your headlights because it came on, it came loose on me one day and my headlights went out. Luckily I seen it spark out of the corner of my eye. I knew what it was. And this one's got two grounds that go to it too and tighten those up. But um, yeah. And this dash, I'm just gonna try to piece it back together the best I can. And I'm going to buy one of them dashes that you glue on top of it. They're like a hundred bucks on um, eBay. But um, as far as this uh, control module thing goes, I'm going to zip tie it up to the main harness the best I can. And I'm just going to let it chill out on the, on the kick panel, the bottom kick panel. That's the only thing I can think of because I didn't want to put that whole big vent thing back in there. And uh, the kick panel should hold that that just fine it's not that heavy we got this bracket right here that's got to go back in here really i don't even think you need to put that back in well if you used a center con console bolt up there you do got to put it back in because that uh that's where the front of your console screws that too but i lost well i didn't lose that bolt whoever been messing with this car before lost that bolt and I never did put it back in. But uh, but yeah, making progress. Just got to put these two bolts on. Tighten them up. Tighten that big plug-in harness there. Tighten that other bolt up. And then uh, we can put the kick panels back in. The bottom kick panels back in. The side kick panels back in. And then we can put the top back in and then put our pillar pods back on. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to put the upper dash back in. I'll crack the pieces. We're going to cover that up with one of those $100 eBay covers. I'm going to put the pillar pod back in the passenger side, but I'm going to leave the kick panels and stuff out. I'm going to leave all the rest of it out right now because... I need to reroute my wideband back up to the front of the car. It was going underneath um, one of the seats and then down to the to the header extender. And then um, I do need to wire in a um, trans brake wire and, and a few other things I need to mess with in there. Plus I need to be able to mute, move the steering. Um, if you unbolt the steering and move it up and down, it makes it so much easier to get that piece to go on the knuckle that goes to the to the steering rack um, and also you know the trans brake wire and et cetera and stuff like that so um, 
besides the dash and the passenger side pillar bottom, we'll leave that like it is for now. Y'all like and subscribe and have a great day.